All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, listen, so I wanted to talk about something because it's come up a few times and, and I wanted to address it. And I'm going to talk from the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse 31. It says this, therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For after all of these things, the Gentiles seek your heavenly father knows that you need all of these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about its own things. Now, listen, I've been, uh, I've received several comments uh, on the video I did talking about preparing uh, food last week. And um, I've received several comments from people that said this very thing. Hey, doesn't the Bible say we're not supposed to worry about our food. And listen, I want to say this word. Amen. We're not supposed to worry about that. That's absolutely true. And you know how I know that? It's written right here in the Bible. It says, do not, this is the words of Jesus. Do not worry about what you shall eat. And it goes on. And what you shall drink, what you shall uh, you know, it actually doesn't, yeah, it says, what, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? What shall we wear? It, it says, don't worry about those things. Now, listen, okay, this is the difference, okay? And this is why I wanted to talk about this, because when I did that video about preparing for um, food shortages and stuff like that, basically, I was accused of by all kinds of people that I was worrying, because it says, we're not supposed to worry. And if you're quoting this verse, what you're telling me is I'm going against the words of Christ and I'm worrying about my food. That's not true at all, okay? I can tell you personally for my for the years, the decades that I've been a Christian and I've walked with the Lord and even before that, that God has provided for me. And I can honestly say this, I don't think ever in my life I missed a meal because I just couldn't afford it. I probably missed a few because I didn't have any money in my pocket, okay? I've been through some times in my life where I, and not only myself, but uh, my wife and I, and when we had young children, where we were extremely poor, okay? and. I'm, I'm not comparing myself to anybody. So if you say, oh yeah, you think you're poor? Okay, I'm not, I don't think I was the poorest person on the planet. I do know I went through times when I was extremely poor and it really felt like survival. And we were living paycheck to paycheck like everybody else. And you know what? We ate, we ate meals. We never even had to go get to that point where, like some people are, where they rely on food banks and different programs. Um, but understand this, Jesus is not saying don't prepare because if, if he, if what is being said is, look, you, by preparing, you're worrying about this food. What you're basically saying is that you should never go shopping for food. I mean, Jesus says, hey, um, you know, God knows, do you just, do you sit at home and just wait for food to show up? I mean, you can actually do that now with all of the delivery services, but you have to prepare. You have to go and buy food, okay? And when I'm asking people to prepare, what I'm telling them is buy extra food so that if something happens, there's food on the shelf. Now that's, it's not worry. Okay, it's not based out of worry. And actually, I absolutely was advocating what the scripture says. He says, seek first the kingdom of God. And you go back and watch my video if you want. The first thing I said is, look, we need to seek God. We need to ask for his wisdom. We need to go to him and ask him what we should do. Okay. And the reason this is important is this. I'm afraid that people just don't want to take it seriously. And I, if, you, if you're if you in that boat, great. Don't take it seriously, okay? I've heard enough to where I want to take it seriously. And I, when I put that video out, it literally, if you were like a, 
a single person living on your own, you literally could be stocked up for like a month. If you just go out and stock up some beans and rice and stuff, you could do that and you could be stocked up for like 30 or 40 bucks, okay? I'm saying the reason to do that is just for wisdom, for the sake of wisdom. And what, why I mean that is because if you look at what's going on in the world, all indicators are pointing to the fact that there could be supply chain issues regarding food. That's all. I mean, the president said it. All kinds of people are saying it. People in the industry are saying it. People talking to the UN are saying it. Everywhere people are saying this, okay? So it seems wise, but it is important, okay? Truly, it is important that we heed what Jesus says here. And when he says, don't worry about it, that's true. We need to trust him. We need to ask him for wisdom. We need to go to him for wisdom. And we need to not worry about it. That's the wrong thing to do. Because if you do that out of worry, you're going to basically load your kitchen. And honestly, if you're worrying about something, you can't always uh, fix it logistically. So you, you might get 400 pounds of rice and 400 pounds of beans and still think, well, what happens? What happens? What if? What if? What if? And there's no end to those what ifs. You can just imagine something being um you know, worse and worse and worse, and then basically become a real lunatic or <laughs> severe weirdo or something. And also, you know, people have said, hey, you know, this hoarding mindset, it's not hoarding. I'm sorry. Okay. That's not hoarding. It's wisdom. It's preparing. If buying things to eat later is hoarding, then everybody is hoarding. And listen, uh, it doesn't make sense. Proverbs says, go to the ant, right? What does the ant do? He prepares. It stores food for the times when the food isn't available. I'm sorry. There's plenty of uh, scriptural examples that, that prove this. Yes, we should not be greedily hoarding stuff. Yes, we should not be worrying. We should not be acting out of fear. We should be living by faith and trusting God and in his word. Those things are absolutely true. And on top of all of that, we should ask for wisdom and we should seek God's wisdom in preparing for what's coming down the road, okay? So I hope that this clears up some, some things. Probably some of you guys completely disagree with me. I'm cool with that. And I want you to understand that when I put out that video, I really felt compelled to do it for several reasons. And one of them is that that will help and prepare a lot of people that are completely unprepared right now, okay? You say, well, what if it never happens? It doesn't matter. Watch my video on the prepping. It's not a big deal. I didn't say like, you know, store the stuff underground. I said, stock up on it and then just cycle through it. You're just getting ahead of the game. You're still using that food. Nothing's going to waste there. So anyways, I hope this clears up some things. And if you're still on the fence about that, whether you should be preparing or not, pray about it. And again, go back to that video. It It's pretty obvious. It says like on the thumbnail, you know, emergency preparation or something like that. The basics. I look really silly. Uh, leaning. It looks like I'm leaning up against a wall of rice. And I'm, and you know, I have a suspicion that some of the people that left really really aggressive comments, didn't even watch the video. They just saw the thumbnail and left a comment. That, that might've happened, I don't know. But anyways, listen, the scripture's true. What Jesus says, absolutely, we need to do that. We need to live that way. And um, I hope that this has cleared up some things for you guys. I hope for those of you that are on the fence, that'll help you to, to choose a side, so to speak, and decide if you're going to start preparing or not. And I hope that God richly blesses you today and leads you in every decision that you make. So um, thank you so much for watching. Again, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, if this blessed you, leave a comment, if, especially if you're one of those people that was really mean to me. I'm just kidding. Nobody was really mean to me. But um, 
you know, leave a comment if you're on the fence and, and whatever. I don't, you know, I, I find it really interesting to read those comments. So um, throw some comments in there and may God richly bless you.